Hello YouTube. So in this video we're going to make some ammonium chloride and also take a look at an exothermic reaction. For this reaction you will need 100 milliliters of clear ammonia. I got mine from the hardware store. You search just ammonia, nothing else. Next you'll need 100 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. I uh, picked this up at the pool section. However, the amounts don't have to be exact since we will be boiling the mixture later which will remove whichever component is in excess. Okay, so here's my ammonia and here's my acid. Both of these are gases dissolved in water and both will fume in open air. The gases react on contact so if you put them together they will make a white smoke. This is ammonium chloride in microcrystals. Mixing these gases is how ammonium chloride is made industrially. If left alone, this will fill the entire room with this smoke and it tends to stick to everything so it's best to do outside. If you mix them together slowly, you'll get even more smoke and the reaction begins. As you add more, the temperature of the mixture begins to rise quickly. The rise in temperature makes the rate of the reaction faster, which in turn creates more heat. In a few seconds, this beaker will be too hot to touch. Given high enough concentration, it could even start to boil. So this is our first clue that we have an exothermic reaction. Of course, just saying that on video does not really mean much. So I thought I would show you an exothermic reaction using a thermal camera. Okay, so here's our ammonia. This time I have 300 milliliters in a large beaker and adding to that about 300 milliliters of the acid. Immediately as I pour in the acid we get a bunch of smoke. As the rest is poured in you will see that all the heat is at first concentrated to the right side. However it only takes a few seconds before the reaction makes it to the other side and then the whole mixture begins to heat up. On the bottom right you can see the temperature rising. Okay, so here's our mixture. It has a slight yellow tint due to contaminants in the hydrochloric acid. Not to worry, it will not be there in the final product. So now, let's take this outside and place it on a hot plate turned to high heat. Be sure to add some boiling stones. We want to boil off about two-thirds of the volume to get rid of the water. When done, you'll get this. I poured it into a smaller beaker to let it cool slowly. I was rewarded with crystals of ammonium chloride, so now we need to set up for a filtration. I've already placed the filter in my uh, filter flask, and so we need to add some water and then go ahead and turn on our vacuum. But of course we first need to plug in the vacuum hose. Okay, there we go and now we're going to start adding in our crystals. You want to try to spread that out as much as possible. Okay, that looks like it's close to just about it. Okay. Once again, you want to spread it out and uh, leave this on for a little bit to uh, get all the moisture you can out. You also want to uh, have some very cold water in a squirt bottle ready to go and uh, you'll use this to wash the crystals. So here's a squirt bottle. Now these came out pretty clean and honestly they probably didn't really need to be washed but I'll go ahead and do it anyway. Okay. 
So I use paper plates to dry my crystals on just because the paper plate tends to you know, soak up some of the water, which seems to make it dry a little bit faster. So go ahead and take your filter flask and put your crystals out. You can use a glass, watch glass, or a uh, glass bowl, or whatever you like. Get them all out. Okay, now spread them out. And then you want to put them somewhere to dry. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate your time.